EA Sports is proud to present today's PGA Tour coverage. Located in Charlotte, North Carolina, Quail Hollow was originally designed by the architect George Cobb back in 1961. And Frank, it features one of the most imposing finishing stretches on tour. They call it the Green Mile. Yeah, 16, 17, and 18, what a great test and a wonderful way to finish this golf course. Um, it has a nice flow to it anytime you're in the Carolinas. All these uh, mature trees that um, really define the fairways. Uh, er everything's in front of you. Um, some greens with certainly a lot of pace out there. You, you tested every club in the bag. This is a great golf course. Now set to start the round here at Quail Hollow. This first hole is a 418-yard par four. Frank, walk us through it. Yeah, it's tricky, actually. It's not overly long, but um, you can see this requires a, a very good tee shot. Not necessarily with a driver e either. Just something that um, gets the ball in play. Green's really the issue here because it's got a, a big mound in the middle of it. Second shot from the rough. It's on the way. It should be pretty good right there. On the safe side. It's no snack, though. Standing over this putt, concentrating on the read. Even par early on. Frank, this is a really fun hole, a pretty short par three downhill. Yeah, half a club, you can allow for that, so it won't play its full yardage. Um, you can really see that right part of the green. That's the most inviting one. But when they stick the flag on the left, you really have to be precise. Frank, not just a player, but an artist. Just beautiful work right there. The only thing I can say, Rich, is that was Sevi-esque. Not a gimme, but well within his range. Oh. Has the butt, and now at minus one. Frank, here at the third, players facing a challenging tee shot. Uh, for a number of reasons, Rich. One, that the hole bends to the left. Uh, two, that the fairway starts to run out. And three, the length of the second shot. Um, you get rewarded the better you hit your tee shot down here. So the shot has landed, I'm not sure if it's on the mulch or in the mulch. Either way, it's in a little bit of trouble. Yeah, he doesn't have mulch of a shot you left. So a chance for Birdie after another solid approach shot. Frank going for another Birdie here. Just to get on a real roll. Well, that would have been a bonus had it gone in, but still 
reasonable chance for par here. Yeah, there's no damage. You're not going to birdie every hole. Solid par to remain one under. Now to the fourth hole here at Quail Hollow, just under 490 yards. Yeah, they used to have the tee on the right side, which actually made that tee shot very uncomfortable. Um, when they put the new tee box in on the left side, it's a little easier to hit that fairway because that fairway slopes from right to left. Frank, that is position A. Yeah, t the tee shot was like silk, Rich. I mean, just sets up that second shot so beautifully. Second shot now at the fourth. Bunkers guarding the front corners of this green. This one's looking good. On the green, and a chance for Bird. Birdie chance here. Very long putt, though. Got to be a little careful if it gets away on him. Well, you couldn't ask for much more than that, except to make it. Just needs to keep it steady here over the putt. Got it for par. Here we are at the par five fifth. It's 570 yards, Frank. This should be reachable for most players, don't you think? Yeah, if you hit a good tee shot, uh, especially with the draw, it will be. Um, but the hardest part of this is judging that kick on the fairway that kicks the ball to the right. Um, and it's it sort of turns at that awkward area at with it the top of your tee shot range that's where that dog leg is well, he pays a price for that yeah when you don't see the top of the ball in the rough you know it's not sitting pretty you need a bit of force to extract one out of there second shot coming out of the rough here Well, this one should be safely on deck here. Putting all of his talents on display here from the rough, and he knocks it really close. Beautiful shot. Shouldn't be a problem here. Set to tee off at the sixth. It is a long par three, 250 yards. We could take a little bit off for the downhill, but uh, whichever way you look at it, it's still going to be a beefy par three. Protected on the left by that front bunker, and if you sort of scoot one long, there's another bunker over there as well. Well, that's how you play the game right there. Knock it on the green and give yourself a good look at birdie. We'll make birdie if this drops. Tough game, Frank. You can hit 300-yard drives and miss three-foot putts. Yeah, there's the ecstasy, and that's the agony. Knocks that putt in for par to stay at 300. Well, Frank, an eagle is in play here at the par 5 7. And a 6, and a 7, and an 8, or a 9, actually. This is a potential scorecard record, the seventh hole. Um, many a tee shot has found uh, that creek on the right, trees, uh, problems on the left. There's no question there's a reward for a good tee shot here. Uh, but then there's a decision on do you go for this par 5 and 2. It's not overly long, just over 530 yards. It is very tempting. They'll be happy with that. In the fairway, now a good chance to attack this hole. 
Looking to keep it going here, Frank. Yeah, another example of uh, things just working as they should. That was a big, bold strike, and now a chance for a big, bold move. Hut for Eagle coming up. Frank, I'm not saying he should pull out driver here, but this is a long putt. Greens are fast, though. You never know. Good line, good pace. Might have a chance. Speed wasn't bad on that long putt, but the read wasn't very good. Settles in over the putt. Drops another birdie and moves to four under on the day. Frank, I love a drivable par four. In the modern power game, it really adds an element of excitement. And here we go at the 350 yard par four eight. Well, you're definitely gonna love this one then, Rich, because it ticks all the boxes here. Uh, there's no water in play, just a few bunkers down the left and the one that protects the right side of the green. And you've got a really narrow green, so plenty of reward with uh, minimal risk. Not quite what he wanted. Tee shot is in the bunker. Well, bunker play is really about technique and feel. The two greatest ever are probably Gary Player and Seve Ballesteros. Seve actually was so good, he was so skilled, that he could open up a three iron, that's right, a three iron, on a short bunker shot from a green side bunker and splash it to a couple of feet as if he had just used a 60 degree sandwich, amazing. Frank, I thought that was in. Wow, he got robbed, Frank. No, it's like kissing your mother-in-law. Did the job right there. Frank, this is a really good way to finish out the front side here at Quail Hollow. 495-yard par four. Yeah, it's the longest par four at Quail Hollow. Um, some say it might be the toughest. I'm not quite in, in that camp. And the reason why, that green slopes in from both sides, the left and the right. But. Uh, you can see why good drivers have done well here, because there's a big reward for thumping a big, long, straight drive down here. Good thing he stayed in the first cut, because just a couple of feet over, that rough is really deep. This one is definitely heading left. Looks like it is going to end up in the rough. You have to think he'll be happy with that, given that it looked like it was headed right for the rough. Yeah, it looked like that was the only place it was going to finish, but, um, well, <clears throat> it's a little bit unexplainable. Let's see what he does from here now. Lucky break. And he's made it onto the green now. This would give him the par. No problem at all. Good putt, and stays at four under par. Well, that was a nearly 